here. This is another roundabout, yeah? You see that blue sign? Yeah. We're turning left, which is fares exit. So you check first, mirror, center left, then signal. Yep. Then fares gear here because it's very narrow roundabout. Usually we're coming in second gear. Nobody come from right. So you carry on slowly, slowly. Bring your clutch up. You turn your wheel, turn your wheel, good, 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 good. And then you straighten it. Then you accelerate and change to second gear. We're going to the next roundabout. You'll see now the sign will come on. This time we're gonna go straight ahead. So when we go straight ahead, we don't indicate in the mini roundabouts, yeah? We only indicate for the left first exit or third exit, which is right turn. For the second exit, we don't indicate off the gas. Unfortunately, we can't see the line because of the thing. Yeah, just go a little bit away from that car park. Car. You see the sign come to zero roundabout. Slow down. You see the sign here? Yeah. Check the right side. Nobody coming from right, so carry on straight ahead. That's it, no indication. And that, that arrow as well tells you to stay on this side of the road, which is the left side. Basically, when you see the sign for the roundabout, the examiner will say first exit, second or third exit, or turn left, ahead or right. So if they say first exit, it doesn't mean you're going left, and you check the center and left mirror, you signal left, then you slow down, always approaching it in second gear. Always approaching the roundabout in second gear. If no one coming from right, you can carry on in second gear, if wide enough. If somebody come from right and you have to stop for the right side then you have to drop it to first gear find your biting point check again and then you go in after it's clear from the right side if you go right sometimes people ask uh, can we touch the center if the center is very big and you can't go all the way around it then it's okay if you touch it a little bit if you if the center of the roundabout very small and you can go around it yeah you have to go around it don't touch the center basically you're following the arrow on the floor if there is a road marking so you put the white arrow um, underneath the car which is in the middle of the car then you turn it so you try not to touch the center if you can but if you have to then it's okay no problem okay so we're gonna approach another mini roundabout which i will show you some of them in second, some of them in third, but um, most of them are second gear as well. 